This video from Learn Electrics will help you to understand how to use the wiring regulations book and how to quickly and easily find the correct answers in the 18th edition Amendment 2 exam. There are just 10 exam style questions in this video and we look in detail at how to find where the answer is, how to pick out the keywords from the question and how to use the book to best effect. In this video, we have one question from each part of the book, including the appendices and a table of tables. The exam is not about remembering the answers. In fact, it is testing you to see if you can find the answers. Are you familiar with the book and how it works? Can you pick out the keywords in the question? Page 3, the main contents page, is so very important. Used correctly, it will guide you to the correct part of the regs book. Make yourself familiar with what is on page 3. It will help you to find the answers. It will reduce your search for an answer from 600 pages to just 3 or 4 pages in a matter of seconds. Page 3 lists all the parts of the book as shown here, including the page number where that part begins. It lists the main headings for each part and section and understanding this one page is an absolute essential. The video will present exam style questions and each question has four possible answers. Choose the most appropriate answer A, B, C or D. To get the most out of learning, pause the video and attempt an answer for each question yourself. The next slide will give guidance on where to look. It shows you how this method works. The next slide will give the answer and extra information. It doesn't matter how long you take on these practice questions. Learning and understanding are more important than time. Let's begin with question one. For these questions, we want you to learn and understand to guide you. And so each question will tell you in which main part of the book the answer comes from. And then we will tell you how to find it. The first question asks, which of the following installations are excluded from the scope of the regulations? And then four possible answers. We know that this answer will be in part one of the book. Pause the video and attempt an answer. The question actually tells you where to look. It contains the keyword scope. And if we look at page three and find part one, we will see that chapter 11 is about the scope of the regulations. The answer will be here, and page 3 is now telling us to go to page 20 onwards to find the answer. Then we can look for the next keyword, excluded. And here we have on page 21, exclusions from the scope, regulation 110.2. Looking down this list, we find our answer. Lightning protection systems are excluded from the scope. Answer D. Question 2 next, and this answer will be in part 2 of the book. In the exam though, you will not be given this information. A system supplying the required emergency power to essential safety equipment is the definition of what? Look at the question and at page 3. The question tells you that it is definitions, and page 3 shows you that part 2, definitions, begins on page 29. Let's go there now and find which answer matches the question word for word. Look through the definitions section and find the answers that are listed there. In this case, there is only one of the answers that is shown in definitions, and this is answer A. Only one definition matches the question wording exactly. And on to question 3, which will be about part 3 of the book. The question asks, which of the following is not an example of a safety service? We need to find a list and then decide which possible answer is not on the list. Pause the video, attempt an answer. Look at the question. It tells you where to look and we need to find safety services on page 3. Chapter 35 is what we're looking for, and page 3 tells us 
to go to page 58. On page 58, we will find chapter 35. And near the top of the page, note 2. Look at this list of safety services and notice that ventilation systems is not listed. This is the one we need. Answer B. Question 4 is next. The question asks, For protection against electric shock, automatic disconnection of supply is a protective measure in which basic protection is provided by what? The keywords here are protection against electric shock. On page 3, we will find chapter 41 under the part 4 heading and the keywords are there from the question. We are pointed towards page 62 to find the answer. On page 63 is regulation 411.1 and looking at indent number 1, we have a reference to basic protection. All that we need to do now is to choose the answer that matches the words. And only one possible answer will match the words. Answer B. And now question 5 on part 5 of the book. When selecting a protective conductor, the minimum cross-sectional area can be calculated by using the adiabatic equation as shown. And the question asks, what does the letter I stand for in the formula? Somewhere in the book, near the formula, is a list that tells us what the letter I stands for in the formula. The key word to look for is protective conductor. Can we find this on page 3, the main contents page? Start on page 3, scan down and find part 5. And there is chapter 54, Earthing Arrangements and Protective Conductors. Page 197, so let's go there. We are just two pages from the answer in a matter of seconds. On page 199, find regulation 543.1.3 and look at the note below the formula. There is our answer, the fault current. Just the word current on its own is wrong, because that is not the exact wording used for this formula. Be aware of the need for matching what the question is asking, and choose answer D. On to question 6 now. We are asked the question, a periodic inspection and test shall be carried out by, and there are four possible answers. Only one answer matches the regs book. Pause the video, have a go at the answer. The key word here is periodic inspection and test. Find the entry for this about halfway down page 3, and follow this to chapter 65 on page 239. On page 239, we find regulation 651.5 which states that the periodic inspection and test shall be carried out by one or more skilled persons, etc. So choose answer B. Question 7 is about special locations. An electric vehicle charging point that is installed in a public car park shall be protected against mechanical damage to at least what level of impact protection? The key word is obviously electric vehicles. So go to page 3 and scan down the special locations. Towards the bottom of the listing will be section 722, Electric Vehicle Charging Installations, and a prompt to go to page 325 onwards. And on page 327 we'll find a regulation all about impact damage and the AG protection rating. So we should select answer C. Question 8 follows. And this is a new part to the regulations, so expect questions on part 8. In a prosumer low voltage electrical installation, an electrical energy management system, or EEMS, shall monitor and control what? We should go to page 3 and look under the part 8 entries for prosumer low voltage electrical installation. Notice that at the moment, Chapter 82 is the only entry in Part 8 of the book. We are pointed towards page 352, etc. And this is where we will find the answer. On page 361 
is Regulation 825.1. All that we need to do is to match the words from the book to the words from the possible answers. And we notice that the wording of A, B and C all appear in the book. The answer is D, all of the above. A word of caution. If the answer, all of the above, is a choice, do not assume that it is always correct. Sometimes, all of the above is wrong, just to catch you out, but not this time. Question 9 is about the appendices. Here is a question. The statutory regulation called the Plugs and Sockets Etc. Safety Regulations 1994 contains requirements for the safety of plugs, sockets, adapters and fuse links etc. designed for use at a voltage of what? Statutory regulation is the key word to start with. Use page 3, scan the appendices section and find appendix 2. This is called statutory regulations and associated memoranda. Now go to page 406 as shown. Look through the listed regulations and on page 407 we find item number 9, the plug and socket regulations. About three lines in we come across the answer, not less than 200 volts. Choose answer B. Last question, this is question 10. This last question is on table of tables. The temperature limit under normal load conditions for an accessible part of equipment within arm's reach that is handheld and made of metal is... Pause the video and attempt an answer. You need to understand that all the tables and all the figures or drawings that are used in the wiring regulations book are listed under table of figures and table of tables towards the back of the book. You must become familiar with these pages. They are so very useful and will reduce your search times. Table of tables, for example, is a list of all the tables in the book and allows you to select the table that you need and go directly to that page. Let's see how this example works. Go to page 573. And on page 573, we find a list of all the tables. We need to scan down the list and find a table that matches the wording of the question. It is table 42.1 that we are looking for, and the list tells us that the table will be found on page 91. Let's go to page 91 now and find the data for handheld metal parts. Here we are on page 91, and table 42.1 is shown. Looking at the table, we can follow the top line for handheld and for metallic parts, and it shows that the maximum temperature should not exceed 55 degrees centigrade, and we should choose answer C. Be aware that in the exam, the questions will sometimes include Fahrenheit answers, and this is clearly wrong. They are testing to see if you are paying attention to what you are reading. In the regulations book, temperatures will always be shown as centigrade or Celsius. A little summary then. There is always enough information in the question to tell you where to look for the answer. These are the key words, the words that will help you to find the right part of the book. Find the key words and use page 3, the main contents page. Used correctly, the key words and page 3 will guide you to within a page or two of the answer. In the exam, you do not need to know what the answer means. Your job is to find the correct answer and move on to the next question. Don't waste time analysing the answer. And finally, good luck. Thank you for watching, it's very much appreciated. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos and remember to click on the notify button to be sure of not missing our next video. And you will find even more information, videos and help on our website at learnelectrics.com. And don't forget that you can also type in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel. Don't miss the next one. And once again, thank you for watching 
and we hope to see you again very soon.